Hey guys, Roman here with another video in the meter. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a emitter cluster that is two or more brokers connected to each other and forming a resilient distributed system. And I'm going to do it in a kind of different way. I'm going to run two brokers and I'm going to run them on the same machine. Right? That presents a few challenges. How do you actually run two servers on the same server? without any virtualization. Uh, but of course, you can also do um, Docker's and all the Kubernetes stuff. I will show in future videos how to do so. Right. So first of all, I'm on Windows and I'm gonna run just the one executable. So I need this executable, right? So how do I download one? Well, you can go in our GitHub, uh, emitter slash emitter. You go here and see this releases. Uh, we have pre-built um, uh, the executables, right? In my case, I picked uh, Windows MD64. I'm on Windows 64-bit um, Intel processor, uh, and I already actually installed it, and I renamed it to Emitter. Right? So in my directory here, I have this uh, I have this Emitter sitting, right? Now you can see here Emitter, and I can start it. If I run a meter, that's what it shows. So it shows me that it tried to run, no license was found, and it generated me a license. Uh, as well as it generated me a this config file, right? This kind of default config file it generates if it doesn't find one. So I can pick this license and I paste it in this license configuration. Now every time I start it knows now oh I need to start with that particular configuration. Right? And yeah, it indeed starts. So if I try to start another emitter, I'll say, well I cannot do it because in my case I'm running both of them on the same machine. So it says only one usage of each socket address is normally permitted and I have for trying to bind four thousand and I cannot do so. Right? So that's interesting. Another thing is is saying it's also configured a node name, right? And in our case, both are node names the same. So that's not a problem. We need to have different node names. All right. So how do we do that? Well, with the meter, you can actually give a configuration, and we we're not bound to this one config file. I can actually rename it uh, like so, and I can say. Uh, emitter dash dash config emitter one dot conf right and that does the same thing it just picks that file instead of the default one and let's start and kind of change this a bit so let's not bother ourselves with SSL right now port is fine uh, this cluster section that's how actually configure that's actually configures a cluster so it tells it hey Listen on port 4000 for internal in cluster communication. While on port 8080, this is for external. If I'm to publish a message or I'm to issue a subscription, that's where MQTT and all those things listens to, right? This is for the cluster. Another thing is this advertised property. So it's saying, hey, uh, if a broker connects to me, on which IP address port combination should it connect to me, right? So this is useful if you have uh, different NAT configurations and things like this. In our case, we actually don't want it to connect to external. So you can actually do external, public, or private. We have a few convenience um, addresses there, resolvers. But we, we give it an IP. Let's do advertise. Hey, you can connect to me on 127.0.0.1, port 4000. Right? And uh, also, we'll give it a name. Let's give it a name so that both of them will be different names. Right? Now we have a, a node which should work the same and it has a name. So the name now is provided. We have a name 001, uh, still listens to 8080 um, and 4000. Right? Nothing changes here. Okay. Now I can take this and copy paste it.
right I create a second one and I need to change ports so second broker will listen on 8081 uh, give it a different name uh, same thing it will listen for internal communication on different port and tell it hey if you want to connect to me connect to me 4001 so I right now it's almost done however it won't work they will still run as separate brokers so if I run uh, my emitter broker one and emitter config emitter two they will run both in parallel right so that's good we have no conflicts in ports however it doesn't work they're not connected to each other yet right you can actually see that they both just try all right so how does emitter work how do i tell it to connect to another cluster that that's pretty simple so in emitter we use gossip to to propagate cluster membership information so meaning if you have a cluster of let's say four nodes and you want to connect to fifth node what you do is you spin the fifth node and you say hey connect to any of other four ip addresses and it will figure it out and it will form a, a cluster together with them right? so you don't need to worry about you only need to worry about giving an address to connect to so let's do exactly that and uh, you can use seed configuration to provide an IP so when the second broker starts it will say it will try to connect to node 4000 and so actually, let me open up both configurations here so first node listens on 4000 second node listens on 4001 and connects to 4000 Right. you don't need to specify like everything you just need to specify one of the machines and you can even do dns name here right so let's do this now when i start it should connect and in fact you can see it that uh, we have a peer created number two well, actually this is not name number one and it sees number two this is not name number two and it is not name number one all right so that's pretty much it uh, that's how easy it is to create a cluster however don't just go yet something really important is this cluster is not secure that means if an external let's say hacker tries to create an emitter so it downloads the meter does the same thing we just did and connects to your cluster you will be able to so now what we need to do is we need to make sure only us we can only form a cluster how do we do that well we need to share a secret right essentially we want a password and you can add this this way so you can add a passphrase let's say it's a meterio and both configuration both nodes will need to have the same passphrase in order to communicate now, with the same passphrase, they'll be able to recognize and reject unwanted connections. Right now, this will still work. Right, and it's still connected successfully. Right, you can see peer created number two, peer created number one. Now, if I kill this and I say something else. If I don't know the shared secret, it will not work. But right? it still started, uh, but it was not able to connect to the seed. It just rejected the node. All right, this is pretty much it. Uh, please subscribe and uh, please give me feedback on what other videos you're uh, interested in and uh, leave a message and comment if you like it. Thank you for uh, your time and until next time.